Welcome to the Admirals League. We're playing Winchester in the round of eight. We pick two home maps each, and then the last one is the first game played. It's uh, pretty much the Grand Melee rules. Uh, the Grand Melee maps, everything is the same as the Grand Melee. So he picks Frigid Lake, first map. What do I want to play? Go Arabia. Fish and Fish. Was quickwalling meta back in the early days? No. Keep in mind the ping was way higher back in the early days. So it was way harder to pull off something like quickwalling. Let's ban Land Madness. To calm our graveyards. Graveyards is game one. What do we want to ban? What do we want to ban? Let's ban Mongols. Back in the old Hidden Cups, when any quick wall was a certain 100% life rate. <laughs> People could still do quick walls in the past. I guess I did them more often though than others. I didn't invent quick walling, I would say. I'm sure other people did quick walls in the past. People have done quick walling before. But I guess I contributed to pop popularizing it, making it more popular. Okay, what do we pick as first pick here? Mines, Khmer. How come Vietnamese is never drafted? They are drafted. But usually there are another 10, 15 saves that will always be prioritized over the Vietnamese. The images I've played a lot these last days. We played the uh, Unus Imperium yesterday. We played the show match against each other. We are playing Admirals League now, and tomorrow we are facing in the round of eight of Jordan's Medieval Brawl as well. Byzantines. I actually don't know where it's going to use those sieves. Hard to place them. I'm not 100% sure about this. But I'm thinking I could use Portuguese in Arabia. If commerce commerce for Frigid Lake, that can be really strong. Mines is obviously for Arabia, most likely. Turks for Ring of Reeds. Byzantines. That's why I'm a li little bit struggling. Maybe he will mix things up and use Byzantines on somewhere else. So my plan right now is graveyards. I use Hindustanis. Don't know what he's gonna use there. He could use Byzantines even there. Fish and fish. I'm planning Dravidians. Frigid Lake, I go Japanese. Arabia, I go Portuguese. And then Ring of Reeds, I go Bulgarians. I'm gonna play aggressive on Ring of Reeds. Looking up, super surprised. Being down to one out of three. Thinking I actually might lose this. I'm always confident. Or better or worse. But I'm not dumb enough to think that people cannot beat me. Right. All right, let's do it. It goes Byzantines here. I was thinking he might do that. Byzantines are the trickiest if to play against. We don't have an eco bonus though in Feudal Age. So the question here is does he go just spear skirm forward or does he go... Where is he gonna go, like, scouts and play stable war with cheaper camels? He has two options here, pretty much. Or uh, two ways of playing that are more logical than another. Here, yeah, going Spear Skirm is probably his best bet. But uh, we'll see. Still missing two sheep, but I think pushing deer is probably more valuable. Well, of course, there is the risk that he finds them and takes them. Look, and his score also looks like it. Actually, I'm going to look for some deer or sheep. Because it looks like he's scouting. And that also leads me to believe that he might go forward. Because he wants to find out my map so he can put pressure. Which means I might actually open my arms instead of scouts. Perfect. Yeah, to be honest, and I'm also playing uh, J and B against Winchester tomorrow. So me and Winchester are playing all the time these days. My barracks will be late though. I have to ask myself if my arms is really worth it. I think I might still try. Uh, 
आदेश शिका, शिकारी मैं तैयार हूँ so we're gonna play out a little bit differently compared to how this map normally plays out. I'm fine with that. This is kind of a bit of a blind counter though in case he is going spear skirm pressure. I so itchy. He's scouting over here. Oh, you see. Oh, you see. Feel like I'm going the wrong way. Or maybe not. He probably expects me to just go stable, right? I'm Hindustan is. We're mixing it up. Yeah, he definitely was not expecting that. I'll definitely say we got good value. That guy should be a dead villager. He's actually going scouts. I'm surprised he's playing scouts into this, honestly. Playing scouts into... What's happening here? They're all stacking. Against Hindustanis. My follow-up eco-management hasn't been the best. But still fine. Low. Still got very good value. You know he also has some lowish pivils floating around. Maybe find some good pool. Actually, other range of this too. Well, I would say pretty good start. Can't deny that. Now I have to make a decision. Do I go blacksmith or stable? 
the Ox Stable is safer, but Blacksmith gives me more potential for damage. He'll be, he will be walled by the time I get over there. Or we could just, you know, do both. Yeah, he's walled now. I'll add like one scout just to have a little bit of extra pressure. But we're gonna... Try to go cast this now. Guess he might be fully walled already. I guess he's not. Blacksmith just now, so he doesn't have fletching. The moment, that's for sure. Guess he was trying to greed to cast Lich himself. Some lowish pivots here. We don't need more archers. This guy's gonna be annoying. But villagers are supposed to go idle if you hit the farm. This is kind of. Okay, we have a little bit of a lack of relic vision. That's fine. See a lot of relics around his base. Extra gold. I guess I go for a TC on the front. Just to secure a little bit of extra gold income. Imagine he's fully walled by the time I have any chance of getting over. We might rather play hunt the scouts so they don't snipe my monk's game while they're booming. Try and run straight through his TC unless he's open. Looks 
Looks like, so, like he's mixing in a fair few pikes. Which means there might be a room for me to add. Um, crossbows again. Especially if he's playing camel pike. Could also work my way towards Gulam. Comfortable spot. I think the score is only close due to him having scouted way more of the map. I think so. He's adding more light cav. So he definitely wants to snipe my monks. There's no question about that. Oh, I failed. I failed. Yeah, it looks like he's just booming with the idea of Sniping monks whenever he finds the time to do so. I don't mind that really. I assume he's not picking up too many relics himself then. In the meantime. TC probably. This team is having some problems. Is anyone else having problems with the stream? Please let me know. He's also picking up relics, we can see that. Oh, I don't know that. Let's get that. Stream is good on your end. Okay, good. And I imagine it's an isolated incident that I don't have to worry too much about. Good. Those were the guys we were looking for. Oh, don't see me. Don't see me. Mm, they didn't have too many monks, did they? I think I can maybe engage that. It's going for that one, I'm sure. Or maybe not. Oh. Monk, monk on monk action. Okay, that's kind of weird that he let me have that. Not sure if it was. Oh. Not sure if he meant to let me have it, but let's just do a safe castle for now. I 
den Omega House. I already have 101 bills as well. I think I'm also ready to go imp. I'm about to have five. I think I'm happy with five, no matter what. I, I will have the chance to. I'll have the chance to. Um, is that a range? I'm not sure what he's planning to do with a range. With the unique tech, I think I will get a pretty good old income, even with potentially less relics, which is also not guaranteed yet. We don't want him to have the hill. That's a risky castle, though. I think I'm gonna go for it. Not a monk. For free! Yeah, it's going crossbow, but I mean, I'm switching to Ghulam, so like... By all means. Yay, nice, nice. Now I have a crossbow to raid his, his area. <laughs> Don't think that was calculated. Oh, hello. I also don't think he will have the eco to switch to Caterpillars right off the bat. The Caterpillar switch for him is down the road. He still hasn't noticed this. Looks like. What? Getting so many kills here. If he's going Arbalest British, which it looks like he is, then I do not see a bright future for him. Oh, he has one cataract. Am I really not getting this? Oh, I'll get it. Even though he did take a fairly effective fight there, it's still what's happening elsewhere on the map. And that is not good for him. And can this maybe no, I don't need I, I will make Gulam and raid him to death. Yeah, GG. That castle as well as a killer. He doesn't have equal to make a full catapult switch. He was trying to go like sort of fast imp arbalist here, but looks of it actually only has two range three ranges. Yeah, it was uh, he was playing like gunpowder, whatever. We we're just too far ahead economically for it to matter. But yeah, the mana arm opening just caught him completely off guard. Yeah, early aggression just gave us yeah, 50 more wills. It was full control of the game. Start of a great fish boom joke. Which Hollywood movie star loves to fish boom? Jake Gilnett's Hall. Heck. Good try, good try. Love him as an actor, though. He's a really good actor. Uh, Frigid Lake, yeah. So probably he's going. You know what? What's his sieve for? What's his sieve for? Uh, let me see. Is he gonna use Malians here and Kumur on. No, he's using Malians maybe for fish and fish. Should be one of those two for fish and fish, right? I feel like Kumur would be way better here. But I could save. 
I could go Dravidians here and Japanese on Frigid Lake, uh, on uh, Fish and Fish. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna go Dravidians here, actually. He goes Khmer. How do I want to play it? Find our first two sheep and then take it from there. Uh, turned up the latency at the beginning of the stream. There was not supposed to be a tournament game after the BF games. What? Yeah, we're playing that right now. <laughs> He's using Malians for fish and fish. Then I'm I'm more happy with Japanese against Malians and Dravidians against Malians. So and any save against Kumar here is going to be tricky. So I think I'm very fine with how this played out now. I'm probably not gonna dock. I don't find my extra sheep. Speaking of, it's usually how it works. Okay, kind of easy wall there ish. Can work with that. Left side should be somewhat easy to wall as well. I think we have a pretty solid map. Bear is in the back as well, gold in the back. We actually have a really good Frigid Lake map for how Frigid Lake can spawn. We'll go many arms, arches this game. Uh, probably open with... I'm actually not sure. I'm gonna check if he has a dock. That's the first thing we're gonna do. I imagine he doesn't. You never know. Winchester doesn't play the same as other people. More often than not, I would say. Don't see a dock, that's fine. I might add a dock in Fuel Age. I feel comfortable with it. Maybe even now on the way to Fuel Age. I feel like I'm in his territory. Yeah, that's the bears. There's no mill either, though. Oh, he does have a dog. Only one villager, though, so this is a dog that he just added because he's doing a super fast feud ledge. That is my current prediction. I will add a dock and try to be a bit competitive there though. We get extra wood so we can probably justify it. He's gonna be faster to fuel for sure. Probably doing a super fast uptime. The only danger here is if he's adding a, a range himself behind it. That's where it can get tricky. If he has a sneak, try to see anyway. Cut 
I'm definitely expecting land aggression. Definitely. The whole water play could be a debate as well. He might not even be making any ships. This is a debate. Yeah, that's very likely what has happened here as well. I feel like we're almost walled. No, not the end of the world. Wait, if he just fast castles here? That would be pretty crazy. Oh, that's still open. Shit. Okay, we'll lose another villager. That's fine. Oh, that's huge, actually. You were able to get some free hits on his archers there. So if he's not microing now, I might even... I might even be able to pick them off with my scout. I think overall we're kind of happy with how this went. I'll try to add like two sneak efficient ships. But I don't have any expectations. That they're gonna accomplish much. He has some of the lowest PR is there. We have already tech switched into archers, so if he has a scout switch happening now as well, that's also not the end of the world. I think, considering we're up against Khmer, I'm very happy with how this has gone so far. Although his cast stage time could still be scary. Okay, I think I was able to drop off the food. That's another thing that went well. Four archers. If he has like two scouts, we're fine with four archers. Okay, time to see how his eco is looking like. It's a healthy amount of farms. Yeah, stable. Not sure if that's stable for feudalage or yeah, it's for feudalage. We are sure. Yes, thank you. This is very good for me because. Most likely he will. Okay, that scout is bugging out. I think our cast stage time is going to be probably even better. With that in mind. Oh, he saw me. Okay, 
Can we save this fish as well? I think we might be able to. Still very fine with this. So I feel like we have a pretty good eco behind this as well. I just gotta hope that I'm up to cast this a little bit faster than him. Got the fish and ship working. He has some very low HP ones. And yeah, we are going to be faster. I'm kind of tempted to go Elephant Archer, honestly. Uh, not that much faster though. Do I want to compete for water? I think I do. I'm gonna do the water upgrade. Still very happy with our spot. He only needs like one night to clean this up, so I'm gonna back off. I think this is going as good as uh, we could have wanted, considering he's Khmer. Like, Khmer, it's not like they're necessarily straight up better, but they're so tricky to play against. So with that in mind, I'm quite, quite happy with the situation. I need a market balanced the uh, eco. Why not wall to the edge of top side? It is walled. Everything is walled. Oh, a demo there. Let's repair this bad boy. Okay, mark it next. I think you saw me immediately. It looks like a good leader of the farm. I can actually harass water. I have Bald Canaro and I have Galleon. Oh, he has crossbows there. That's neat. First thing first, eco upgrades. Because we are in a good position on the map, I feel like. So I feel like I'm fine delaying ballistics, for example. 
want to add fishing ships as well. I also want to add galleons. Got a first world problem situation going on here. I'm gonna try to make some action happen in multiple spots so he might not notice. We'll sneak in with those. Like we'll have our ships engage here. You guys go behind the wood line and you guys come in on the front. Oh, he's barely taking wood line there though. Getting another stable. Right, we're gonna go unique uh, tech. Uh, unique tech, unique unit. Rumi and Halbs is our play. I think our eco is better, or will be better very fast. We just need to fight in one spot, not if you have a roomy swordsman if you like. This is going to be a bit risky, but I think he's just going to be... What happened here? I think he's mostly going to be chasing me, though, with his army. So I feel like I can justify that. It's definitely risky, though. Ooh, it's very risky. Looks like I have two monks there and water. Actually, let's roll this. Thirty-five on food. That is imperial age territory. To say the least. We'll still have two relics, hopefully more. Oh. 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 Luckily, I do have what's the word ballistics, so he will lose a lot in the process. Well, that's quite nice. I'm losing a lot of ills here, though, that's for sure.
This is why I'm considering just sending my villagers in to fight the reps. Definitely took some losses. That was a very good move by him. I think until that, we were definitely massively ahead. Obviously a bit unfortunate with the hole, but you know, happens. Next question now is What is he actually committing at in terms of units? Is this still open? No. And no, I have vision down here that he has a quite exposed woodland there. I want to stone all that, that's for sure. This chemistry, okay, there's a castle there. Interesting. Am I really not getting it? God. A really bad upgrade still for the infantry. Does he save it? Just save it. But it's fine. We're still we're still stable. I just need to get blacksmith upgrades. Armor in particular. Once we get those, I think we can start taking good trades again. Poss possibly earlier. Yeah, we have plus two armor. Let's go. I think he might make like one ballista elephant to cut. I actually saved all of them. Good moves. Yeah, we have last armor now. This is where mobility can start to become a bit of a pickle. Nine fifty for elite. We'll do it. We have four relics though. Oh, he doesn't have ballistics. That's nice. That should never be a good fight for him. Oh, Hankin there, he's adding. Just take the traps. Getting good rates as well here. 
Need something desperately. Uh, thumb ring, uh, in part. I did delete the room yet, that may have been a mistake. I should have maybe prioritized the the tech that lives lets you ignore armor instead. Do I mind if he breaks through? I don't think so. We have plenty of defense. Only thing we would mind is if he can start. Ooh. Don't mind that a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Looks like we'll likely lose that one. I think we're just going to remake a cast in exactly the same spot. Very t tricky spot. I definitely feel the lack of mobility is becoming a bit of an issue here. Yeah, that's too early. We need to add bomber cannon. Make sure we have the edge on those fights. Mm, it should work. I think we're pretty much playing the long game. I think we are pretty much hoping that since we have the gold that we can outlast him. I feel like I'm not able to get the tech where I can ignore armor. Don't lose any. Oh, you can live. Oh, I'm gonna lose both traps probably. Oh. I almost walked into it. Okay. Okay, we're able to keep that one alive. That's good. 
Now we have some bomber cans at least to partake in. Oh no, don't use that. Partake in trebuchet fights. Can I get this? But it's still open. Elite Ballista! Let's ignore armor. Wonder how how much of this is can afford. That that stuff is expensive, man. Yeah, this will be tough. The question now is just how much gold does he have? How long can he last? with Ballista open production. Is he doing Scorps as well or is that Rams? It's not a question. I, I do ignore armor now with my things. Yeah, those are a bit tricky to deal with. My Scorps do one damage per hit. <laughs> Still got four relics though. He just doesn't care, right? Yeah, let's try to get some bombers. Like, what he doesn't have now as much of though is uh, mobility. Oh, that's open. Shit. Let's just do that. What is happening? Why do I not have wood? I don't feel good about this current situation. Lack of mobility is still... Let's say there. I feel like I need to fight, try and fight somewhere else where his bomber cannons are, or where his elephant archers are not. Where his ballistas are not, sorry. I don't have siege. I do have one trap. How do I even get on top of this? Everywhere I go here as well, it's I'm stacking on top of each other. Well, here goes nothing, I suppose. This has to be a cleanup, pretty much. I think it's a pretty solid fight. All things considered. Oh, I pulled those away by accident. He lost a lot of ballistas there.
But did he lose enough? Not so sure about that. Yeah, I think I need to switch my focus to the left side, uh, right side. I'm out of wood on the left. Another trap. I need to rebuild barracks and houses. Oh no, we cannot lose this. Fight! Why did my help? Why my help is taking a break before engaging? Hmm. Not gonna lie, it's tough armor to figure out how to beat. Uh, so it, I assume it's Facebook that are having issues then, not my stream, right? That's the impression I'm getting, at least, from what I'm seeing here. Since we're getting a little... What do I think in this? My relics are very exposed at this stage. It was a very good text switch by him. It's really hard to... I don't have a market. It's really hard to find a composition to beat that. That one was a goner. Oh, run faster, please. What? Oh my god, I pulled. I got pulled out of position. I just don't think I have an answer to this. Let's call it. I think it was a big throw though. The fact that he got in here with his knights right before I hit imp or we hit imp had a whole overchop there. I think we just straight up died there because it, it bought him so much time to get control of the game. 
And like I said, I Dravidians really struggled with mobility. So when he got through there and started raiding everywhere, it was a really a huge step back for me. It was probably fairly similar still at that stage, but that just put us so far behind. It was a nice game though, for sure. Blitzed Elephants are insane. I don't really know what to counter. In the next patch, I think you can counter it more with Onagers or Bombercans even, if they will have the Siege armor or Hoof, hoof Sight Wagon armor. So they're going to be weaker to um, Siege. I don't think you get many kills though on Blitzed Elephants, like with Siege Elephants. Sure, you can like engage, but I don't think you're like going to kill them, if that makes sense. Yeah, it was a snowball from the hole. We have a very good sieve here. This sieve isn't bad either, let's be real, but... My sieve is absolutely fantastic here. I'll try to find my sheep. <laughs> Bonus damage is insane. Yeah, but again, he will have melee units himself and he can always run, right? His elephants are faster than my armored elephants. So to try and use them as part of a an actual composition feels a bit like... I, I get the point, but it just doesn't feel like it's going to accomplish much. Mm, he's already in my base. And I'm looking around. Interesting. Not sure why he's here so early. Maybe he was trying to find my sheep. Maybe. I don't know where the crocodiles are. They're there and... Oh, it's only one crocodile. He's on the middle as well. Whoa, he has low HP bill. Good to know, good to know. Considering going without Loom. It's too risky. I remember there was two elephants, but it makes sense that he was he was fighting one of them. I lost some HP, but if you think about it, that is a lot of lost HP for him long term. Uh, income. A lot of lost food income from him for him long term. That house is not good. Looks like he's already off the middle. I would imagine it's just fast range from him, right? And archers. Oh, 
Back speed as well. I'm trying to find out what side the hunt is at. We may have gone water as well. The hunt is there, so it means water is in the south. I assume he will show us our like there's a chance he just sneaks straight across to my base, honestly. Let's find out if he maybe has fish. Doesn't look like fish at the moment. No, oh, I was building a dock right now. Our dock timing is the same. Being real sneaky right now, and that's exactly what he's doing. Luckily, he didn't have flexing. It's flexing, that could be a real pickle for us. Double range. Oh, those bridle for a while. <laughs> Oh, I just snuck in apparently. out easy there if I want to. Still very happy with those trades. Using so many archers here. Oh, 
I'm super happy with that trade. Amazing trade for us. He also was playing double range, so he's investing heavily into the archer numbers. And we get another one. Oh, so stuff. Let's go there. I feel like I should idle here. He did add two fishing ships though, so it's pretty cool. Might be okay-ish. Not gonna allow that. A very tricky a sneaky game by him rather. He just walled up and then he went to sneak. I still think I have way more resources collected due to the um, due to the short fish though. Probably got them on the way. Having a stable. So cast ledge for him as well seems to be quite likely. He did sneak up that. <laughs> yeah, he never took his berries either. I guess his Furiko is quite awkward. I, I feel like this might even be a stable for Fulage, potentially. Uh, no, it's probably still cast Lage, I don't know. Oof. That's why you want the middle, boys. That's why you want the middle. That Furiko is huge. Fun game, though. Very tricky, though. The, when it, Those sneaky archers, if they are fletching, I think I'll lose probably two or three bills. Oh, Arabia, okay. I have Portuguese here against Mayans. I still think I prefer mines, but Portuguese are pretty cool. Oh, is that already walled? By just forest? That's pretty sweet. Yeah, I can go organ guns. Because the stone there is super safe as well. I really want to push deer. Okay, there's my, my sheep. But I don't. I want to push deer, but I don't want him to be able to steal my sheep. It looks like he's pushing there as well, so 
We're not good. We have a really good map. The, the gold is forward, but securing wood bears in stone is super easy with our map. So we cannot complain about that. A bit risky if the eagle comes around here. We could try and snag that villager. It would also be super nice to just get that wall. Super, I say everything is super. It would be very nice, extremely nice. We already have that wall done. Not have to deal with it after hitting few lich. I think I'm going to open scouts. Just to have some mobility on the field. Could backfire though if K in case he has a really easy wall map. I was planning to cancel loom and go up without loom, but yeah, it's again a little bit risky. It's unnecessary. Rush. Maybe I'm switching up and just going fast archers. I think we're switching. Let's hope our walls go up in time. Looks like they will. It's a bit of a excessive reaction, I suppose. I think it was fine. I could have done this and then just go scouts as well. I could have still just gone scouts. I think our eco setup here is going to be nicer. He also has no scouting until now. I mean, he did see my mining camp, so he should know what's happening, but... Looks like he's just fully walling himself. I did horse color as well, so economically we're setting up quite nicely. Do I just like make one archer and then try to... No, 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 that would be too risky. Thinking to just straight fast castle and go like night siege. It could have potential, but also I don't feel like that's something what I want to do. He might still pressure my gold given given the position. Why 
Range. Feels like he doesn't have anything like out on the map. Just doing a blacksmith now. Feels like he has things on the map. He doesn't have fletching either, right? And I have more numbers. Guess I have to do fletching then. I'm still gonna do a market and buy some resources. Market time. I need to get back in front of him. Okay, he's cooking up there. I did see his archers though, okay. Either he regroups or he split and now the another group is gonna come on my gold. Never mind. They're all there. Like in a pure archer war, mines will definitely trade better over time. Because they have the cheaper archers. Question now is if I do add a stable. I feel like this was very much a timing game at the moment. It's a very good trade though, goes without saying. I think maybe Arbalest crossbow with Mangano could have maybe been better here. We also get upgrades earlier, so if I'm actually faster to cast Lich, big chance we can just hit him with a timing. I'm actually going to back off a little bit. Because I am expecting to be up slightly faster. I think I have long term better eco though, because I uh, did horse color. I don't think he did. Yeah, the night addition is possibly a mistake as well. If we can like trim down archer numbers, having a knight or two could also be very beneficial, but I don't have any upgrades on them either. Although I can like hunt down guys like this. That's kind of nice. I 
The score is looking really good. That's one thing we cannot complain about. Ballistics 50% on the way. He actually has ballistics already. What I have here? One knight, four crossbows, one knight there as well. Not the most impressive arm in the world. But I feel like organ gun switch is gonna be very natural for me as well here. At some point. Having a TC there. A little bit late to push there, but okay. I want him to show his army before I reveal mine. Okay, there's the reveal. Now we're going a little bit greedier. We try and uh, get Orangans up and running. I don't think Fatori are out of the picture either, or out of the question. Yeah, this is great, we're gonna idle his gold, by the looks of it. Picking up some extra stragglers as well. Yeah, this counterattack is doing already so much work. Looks as well like he did thumb ring in his units. Because the fire rate on those were super fast. Okay, definitely has thumb ring. We're also in a situation now where we probably want Seed Workshop. Shop might not go up. Come on, we can do it. Uh, let's go for this. Oh, that's a risky move by him. Ooh. 
Okay, attention. How fast does he click imp now? I have another hill there where I want to drop a castle. I'm not sure about this whole commitment on foreign guns long term. But I'm committed, so we'll find out. As well, I need a castle on the bottom side somewhere. I think we probably clicked up roughly at the same time. Feels like it anyway. Yes, we know he's picking up relics. Surprised there's not. Oh, there's the castle. That's what I was thinking it was gonna be. So he's probably gonna stick with Arbalest. He's just did a castle there to make traps. I'll get bomber cannons ASAP, so we play organ gun, bomb gun, bomber cannon. And we pray. What the organs doing against eagles? Pretty well, I would say, all things considered. Oh no, I saw units down there. Need Archibus as well. Oh, that's a very ambitious relic, my man. There's a chance he just tricked me. I will probably add Tori as well as the game goes on. Lived. That was a good move by me, I must admit. 
Sometimes I do also do good moves. He doesn't have Bracer. Makes me think he's switching to Eagles. Could be wrong, but... Feels that way. I want to just dive in, kind of get a confirmation on that. If it's going eagle, I might do. Uh, yeah. I might also do a cavalier switch, even. Maybe just stick with. He still doesn't have Bracer. I think Cavalier can, or this light cap can clean. Oh, that side is probably open. Yeah, we're cleaning it up, but it is expensive. We did win that fight in the end, but... What cost? Need elite 1200 food. I have a decision to make pretty much elite organ guns or Cavalier. There's a chance Cavalier would have actually been the better play. That was a good fight anyway. He's preparing a trebuchet push there. Good thing. What he's making is hella expensive. Still no traps. You do have elite organ guns now. That's what you're waiting for. Hmm, maybe I'm a little bit weak to the raids. There's a chance Oren Guns was a mistake. by him though to go for the power play on my castles. Uh, let's try to get out ca another castle in a base. The issue with this is I cannot afford Satori anymore. No, I think we're just dead. Yeah I think the organ gun commitment was a mistake. 
Should we play Cavalier from the start? I think we might have numbers to trade somewhat okay for a while. But if I get to a 200 pop situation with organ guns, then they can be pretty damn sweet as well. He definitely did the right thing though, building up trap numbers to like just take out my castles. Maybe my goals were a bit exposed as well for this play. Mines is mines. Mines are mines as well, but I could also play like Cavalier Arbalest or Cavalier Hankin or something. I have gold, right? I also have long-term gold because I will have access to Fetori as the game goes on. Maybe I was a bit too greedy in castles as well, trying to go for organ guns. I should have just played military. If I play military in Castle Age instead of like 3TC Castle Drop, I think we're also in a pretty good spot then. Can't resist the organ guns, man. The okay, final game will be a tricky one. We have a, a, what's it called? Ring of Reeds. And I'm gonna go for a YOLO pick there, which will be Bulgarians. He's gonna have Turks. So let's see. I like to go for Bulgarians. It's a risky pick. We're gonna go heavy a few ledge pressure and hope for the best. Mm. Want to find my sheep? Good luck, thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna go my arms opening through the middle with maybe towers, and then I'm gonna do scouts on the sides, and maybe even towers on the sides as well. I'm gonna try and make it really awkward for him. If he stays inside his base. I swear there used to be two sheep on this map. Am I mistaken? What? Oh, this map had two extra sheep. They have to be up here. Have to be. Yeah. Let's hope I have enough food. Pick up. I think it should be fine. Okay, we're good. We go like three militia or my arms through the middle with towers and then we add stable on the side. Gotta go scouts. Something like that. With blacksmith upgrades. And just put up a lot of pressure. He's on the outside. Can maybe send an arms on the outside even as well. One way or another, it should be a pretty interesting fun game. He hasn't seen me yet, I think. I might be able to catch his scout now, if he doesn't have a fast village timing. 
Yeah, now we are the stable on the side. Boxy range. Ooh. Need a blacksmith to get forging. Let's see. My food equal is a bit weak right now. I kind of only need. Oh, it's actually open. See if he notices. <gasps> oh, that's a disaster for him. How about for three scouts with forging? There we go. Come back. I try to come back. Let's do it only when we have action happening. I think we have enough damage right now that I would go with my men arms to the outside. No! Not like this. We're definitely getting the game in a comfortable way, or how I imagine I would have liked the game to look like. Oh, I am not complaining one bit. I'm not gonna wall the middle yet. Oh, I don't know what upgrade. Let's get that. Might also do armor for the infantry, so they have even more potential on the outside. Because he might be coming across now with archers and spears. So if I have armor on my middle arms as well. And that sounds promising. Too. At least a spear. Uh, my scouts are to low HP. Market. Towering up. Is he going to be able to get to Castle Age? Blacksmith now. So he doesn't even have Fletching. I think I can maybe dive on the archers. Oh, I missed it. Ugh, he stuttered. Yeah. 
Continue. Market blacksmith is still heavy on stone. I imagine his food equal should be quite rough. Like the men arms had served their purpose. I don't think they could have been used for more anyway. I'm kind of fine that they died. We we'll probably drop a castle here as soon as he's up. How do I want to deal with that though? If the castle is all the way at home there, I don't think that's necessarily the end of the world. I'll probably still just try to pressure from the side. Uh, two scouts. Touch him for the towers. Well, this guy will make forward siege of these guys. Probably a second stable. Mm, it's a low HP one. Once I have Bloodlands, I will fight that guy. Ah, that's ambitious. <laughs> Here comes the castle. But my plan now is that he's gonna put so much attention to the castle that I can do pressure on this side. That uh, Balkan is not worth it. Let's do plus two armor instead. That's only one archer we can do with that. I might have time for rushing a crate post up there, just so he cannot go to the middle and use the food as well. He hasn't sent anything to the middle. There's still nothing there. Janissary, yes, thank you very much. He's coming now. Okay, we definitely need him to focus here at the moment. Okay, actually, we're fine. Not paying attention. Yeah, those bills are taking some damage. So good. Always losing so many more rails. Okay. 
Guess a tease in the middle. Uh, can I do ray post potentially down the road there? Probably don't want to trap myself in there. Did he go this way or did he come back? Wait, if he's going here, I, that's actually big trouble. Ooh. Not too many though. I think I can clean that up with a th few knights. Looks like he's going back though. Second castle. The main issue we would have right now is if he actually goes in or finds a way to go in. I think I have enough knights to clean up those genistries that were here. I just don't know where they are right now. Did you get back home or what? Or did you sneak around? Maybe he snuck around. Or he's hiding. Lucky may have clicked up just now. Just one archer. We can live with just one archer. Oh, slay me, my dear. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely imping now. I feel like my game plan should probably be get to imp in some skirms. Or actually a siege ram cavalier could also be good. I think we idle now. gonna build this to chase my way.
76 bills is not a lot either. Janissaries are at his base. Decisions, decisions, decisions. I was thinking I could do Siege Ram on the side. Probably gonna try and repair this Kratos for a while. Need gold income though, badly. Definitely get the relics. Don't have to worry about that one. Now I need to find extra gold out on the map. I cannot afford yet. Maybe soon or down the road. I definitely need is for him to come out of uh, or away from the, the safety over there with the castles. Oh, you can afford heavy camel? That's really bad news for me. No upgrades though. supposed to run through there. Yeah, not many upgrades. It's still not the end of the world. It's getting closer and closer to be away from the safety of castles. Oh, 
I have enough to engage. Those Janissaries are still kind of cast Lich Janissaries. I feel like I don't have much of a choice. At least he's gonna lose his cannons. Oh, another castle. My cannons are still... Ooh, I don't think I can fight those camels though. Mm. I think his camels were nice. Or taking the cannons. But he has a lot of camels. Now the question is if he if he combines his forces, can I hold? He also sends his camels there. Ooh, that's uh very forcing castle that I feel like I'm probably gonna respond to. See a doubt castle? Feels like a doubt castle. No, 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 no. Need a market badly. Interesting game, to say the least. I like it. Even that bot can arrow. Population is growing, but it's also to do with the way our eco and, ev and everything is set up. This is not the most healthy situation. And composition wise as well. Clearly not the best for us. I feel like we got a lot of damage early game, but now I feel we reached a point where I just cannot without especially without gold. It feels like I probably just cannot deal with this composition anymore. That was a really fun game though. I think what we did a lot of potential. I maybe needed to go more all in on the side. Maybe like double stable forward and then go there. This game actually shows that Viper's boomy approach is often not the right approach. I did make army jack. There was no point in mid late castlage where I couldn't where I could have done more, if that makes sense. Like once he has a castle up, there's not I cannot do anything else than what I did, in my opinion. It was a really nice game though. So like I got huge initiative with the army on the sides. Obviously I killed a lot of villagers, many arms in the middle as well. But the thing is once he gets to the middle, he has completely unrated like those three castles secure his whole economy. 
So I cannot hit this food echo, gold, stone, whatever. And there's so much gold in the middle. So once I'm out of the middle, I simply don't have access to any gold income anymore. Bulgarians lack options against camels, Janissary comp. Yeah, your best bet is probably like full siege ram, halberdier, cavalier, but I never had the smooth developed economy for that, right? I was constantly moving my eco around. If I have like a 50 farm setup somewhere, then maybe we can make enough units to actually compete, be competitive, but uh, we were not there. Look, Eko, I'm miles ahead in food and wood, but he has way more gold. And since he has a way better comp, uh, army composition, it's also like we reached that point where it's just like uh, I cannot be competitive with that. Skurm probably delays Imp too much. Yeah, if he gets if he goes bomber cannons, the Skurms are useless as well. But anyways, I wanted to try this approach with Bulgarians. I feel like it kind of worked, but maybe maybe the biggest issue was actually that my follow up in Castles, I didn't add economy fast enough. Because I stayed Castlage quite a long time without adding extra TCs and good farm eco. So my food eco was lacking in Castlage. I actually think that was the biggest issue. When I was taken off the middle, I lost like eight, seven, eight food villages as well. And then I didn't set up a farm eco. Block potential first castle spot to delay. His first castle spot was in his base next to his TC. It was a great set though, I think, all in all. Frigid Lake, we probably should have done better in. Arabia, Oregon Guns was a mistake. I feel like all three games we lost make a few different decisions. Maybe we win those instead. The map feels like winning middle and nothing else matters. It's kind of like that to a certain extent. Unless you do like enough damage on this side, which we were not able to do. Anyways, that's it for me then in the Admirals League. The Tato is in the top bracket. He will face either Dogao or Jordan. And then Winchester will now face either Barles or ACCM.